hi so in this section we will discuss about life cycle of life cycle of scope variables so consider a simple example so here we have taken a simple app which contains one controller and and this controller contains and this controller contains a simple variable and this variable we are displaying on our view this variable we are this variable we are displaying on our view so when we run this application so this variable will be displayed on our view so now so now let's add a i mode function in the javascript in javascript we we have a timeout function which takes a function and time in milliseconds so now this function will be executed this function will be executed in it will execute in after 2000 milliseconds that is a it will execute after it will execute after 2 seconds so in this function in this function let's update this variable name to some other value so so let's update this to so let's update this variable to some other value and to just uh, to just confirm whether it is updated or not let's alert this variable let's alert this is the same variable so so here we are writing updated our variable updated our variable so now when we again run this so after 2 seconds after 2 seconds the timeout function has been called and and it has updated the variable to the globe means but the same update but the same update we are not able to see on the view so it is only updating it is only updating that variable in this controller so the same update same update we are not able to see on the view so the same update we are not able to see on the view so it is only updating in the controller and so now so, so now let's change this change this timeout change this timeout to the to the timeout of to the timeout of our angular so angular has a service of timeout angular has a service of timeout called as this dollar timeout this will do the same functionality as our javascript timeout so let's replace this with our angular timeout so now we so now let's run this application again so now we can see that it is updating it is updating in this js and also same update we can also see on the view and also the same update we can also see on the view so what exactly is happening so when when we use the normal timeout of javascript when we use the normal timeout of the javascript so that is not updating on the view it is only updating it is only updating in the controller whereas when we when we use the timeout of angular whereas when we use the timeout of angular so now it is updating in the controller it is updating in the controller and also it is updating on the view and also it is updating on the view so what exactly what exactly this angular timeout is doing what exactly this angular timeout is doing So, so when we consider the architect of our angular, so the architect of our angular will look somewhat like this. So we have a module or app and this app will have different controllers. This app can have many controllers and each controller can have many scope variables. Each controller can have many scope variables. Now, 
and now angular and now our angular it will watch every variable it will watch every variable every variable in the scope and that is done by using dollar watch so what is the job of this dollar watch is whenever there is an update in javascript it it will update same in html or view and whenever there is an update in view whenever there is an update in view and and the same variable is updated in our javascript so this watch does the functionality of two way binding so this watch does the functionality of two way binding so now so now someone has to invoke this watch so someone has to check whether there is any change on that variable and it should invoke this watch that is done by digest that is done by digest so digest will invoke all the watches for whichever there is a change so digest will invoke all the watches for whichever for whichever there is a change and someone and someone should invoke this digest so that is done by apply that is done by apply so apply will invoke all the digesters all the digest will again invoke all the watches all the digest will again invoke all the watches so now in our example so now in our example after updating with our javascript after up, after updating with our javascript if we call the digest or scope if we call the if we call the apply or digest sorry if we call the apply or digest so now let's run this so now after 2 second it has updated this to global sorry it's a dollar apply so now after 2 seconds it will update the variable to global and also the same is reflected on the view and also and also the same is it will reflect on the view in the same way we can also call digest we can also call digest so let's call the digest so now when we call the digest it will also do the same job so now our javascript is up updating the scope variable and the same is reflected on the view and the same is and the same is reflected on the view so so this apply so apply sit, sits on a so this apply so this apply sits on a module level apply sits on a module level digest sits on a controller level digest sits on a controller level and watch sits on a variable level and watch sits on a variable level so our timeout will call either digest or apply depending on where we are using that timeout so if we are using the timeout on a controller level this timeout will call the digest if we are using the if we are using the timeout out of our controller then it will call the apply so when we call the apply it will it will invoke all the digesters when and this digested in in turn invoke all the watches so now this watch will do the job of two way binding this this job uh, this watch will do the job of this two way binding two way binding in the sense whenever there is an update in javascript it will update in html or whenever there is an update in html it will it it, it will update in the js so our life cycle of scope can be considered as so every variable will either go to the phase of apply or digest and then this digest will will invoke all the watches apply sits on a module level digest sits on a controller level and watches sits sits on a each variable level so we can either call a apply 
or digest. We can either call it apply or digest when we are updating a scope variable out of Angular like jQuery or JavaScript or something. So when we are updating our scope variable out of Angular, we, we, we should make sure that we call apply or we call apply or this digest. 